I'm here with my buddy, Philip Williams, and uh, I'd like to encourage you to watch the Phil Williams show, and you can go to patriotinsights.com. All right. Appreciate you. It is that time for my response to a tweet. And today's tweet says, it takes a fixer like Trump to fix this messed up government that has screwed us so bad and we are pissed. It takes a fixer like Trump to fix this messed up government that has screwed us so bad and we are pissed. Wow. This is uh This is coming on the the day after, you know, Trump got some more delegates. He's won a couple more states. Uh Ted Cruz didn't get Nebraska, matter of fact, lost it to Trump 60%. And it just looks like he's on a one-way freight train to 1237. But this is how I'm going to respond to this tweet. Whenever I hear Trump as a fixer, whenever I hear anything from anybody that's trying to do anything, the first thing I think it's wise to do, if it's a roofer or if it's, if it's somebody that you're going to pay to do something or you're going to hire to do something, you should look at their track record. And so when I hear Trump being a fixer, I look at his track record. And then I look at his track record through the prism of what he's going to fix. So if he was a car mechanic that fixes cars, and I'm going to hire him to fix my washing machine, I have to try to look not through his track record of fixing cars, I need to see what he knows how to do as far as appliances. Because just because it's machinery and moving parts, that doesn't mean he's qualified to fix my washer. So I'm hiring Trump, or you think you're hiring Trump to fix a government that you feel screwed you and has you pissed off. So you're hiring Trump to unscrew you and unpiss you off when it comes to government. So now let's look at Trump's fixing abilities through that prism. What has he fixed that says he can fix Washington? What has he fixed in his life that says that he can fix Washington? Because when you look at his track record, the things that Donald ha Trump has fixed when it comes to politics or Washington, he has fixed it from the other side. He has paid politicians for his own benefit. He has he put the fix in to screw you. You get screwed when Donald Trump tries to get something fixed when it comes to politics. He uses his money and he comes in and he fixes things for himself. The things that's made him successful. So what makes you think he can go to Washington and fix it when he is the reason why you are screwed and pissed off? If you want to blame Barack Obama, you want to blame liberals? Why? Because you don't have a job? Where does the jobs go that you don't have? to illegal aliens and people on the visa program. What has Donald Trump fixed when it comes to that? The thing that he has done is he has used the illegals. He has used the visa program for his own thing. And so he used his own money, his own influence, bought politicians, did whatever the government had going on in Washington that has you feeling screwed without a job. Because Donald Trump hires the illegals. He doesn't hire Americans. Donald Trump is using the visa program to bring foreigners from out of country. He's not hiring the ones that's in country. So what makes you think he's going to go to Washington and fix that?
When it comes to the politics, the things that's got you frustrated and pissed off, it had to be Barack Obama. Because most of Trump supporters, the least of Republicans, Democrats, you didn't vote for Barack Obama. So that means you got pissed off and felt screwed over the last eight years, right? So if you feel pissed off and screwed over the last eight years because of liberal policies under Barack Obama, Donald Trump has been funding those people. The Nancy Pelosi, the, the Hillary Clintons and all these people, Donald Trump has been funding the ones that's got you pissed off and screwed. And so now you're going to hire this guy to go in and fix this? He doesn't care about the American people. He cares about Donald Trump. And here's the bigger thing. Let's say that I would throw him a bone. Isn't he going to be the president that still owns all the buildings that he has not hired Americans to build? Now he's going to be on the inside, still owning the things where he screwed you on the outside. He's still going to be the owner of Trump Towers and all these hotels and all these golf courses. He Now he's going to be on the inside. Being able to control and impact the visa thing without paying for it. He's going to be able to screw the American people even further. Because he's not getting rid of Trump Towers. If he has to do some kind of legal thing to where he has to get off of being CEO of Trump Tower, his children are going to still be there. He's still going to have the same thing in place to why he screwed you in the first place. And so you think this guy's gonna go into Washington and bite his own hand to make you feel better. What you're asking Donald Trump to do, where he participated and benefited off of everything that has made you salty, you're asking this guy to pour some sugar on you. You're saying, Donald, pour some sugar on me. You're asking this guy to sweeten up the thing that he has participated in making you salty. He doesn't care about you. Why do you think Donald Trump is saying, I don't need a united party to win? Because you haven't defined what Donald Trump means by win. He wins off of us being divided. Because the thing that he wins is being able to say it was me that gave the presidency to Hillary Clinton. And the liberal ideology that has made me a billionaire ten times over, if you want to believe that. Donald Trump can take credit for being the one that has cemented it into history. And everything Donald Trump was doing that has you screwed and pissed off, he's going to be able to benefit from that and his children's children's children. Because because of Donald Trump and your ridiculous understanding of what this guy really is because you're pissed off and frustrated. Thinking he's gonna be your sugar daddy that's just gonna come and pour some sugar on it and make everything okay because he's gonna go into Washington and, and turn it inside out and he's gonna cuss him out and he's gonna call him ugly and names and everything that you feel all pent up inside. Donald Trump is going to go into Washington and tell them and put them in their place. You're going to come to find out because you don't do your unemotional research that Donald Trump is the problem in Washington. And you don't hire a problem to fix anything unless it's a vaccine. And you know how sick a flu shot can make you because it encompasses the flu. But this is not medical. This is actual policy that impacts your real life. You do not use the problem and think that this guy is going to go in there and fix your problem.
people, you got to understand something. Donald Trump benefits from Mexico and China. You think he's going to stop it? He benefits from Hillary. You think he's going to stop her? He benefits from liberalism. You think he's going to want to stop it and make it cease? He benefits from the laws and stuff being used to take Americans' property. You think he's going to go in there and make sure the Supreme Court stops Donald Trump? No. He's going to pour some sugar on some stuff that has a sh and an it combined. I'm Phil Williams. That's my response to this tweet on the Phil Williams Show.